Ready? What is life? I'm going to talk about that. So what is life? Life is the flash of the firefly at night. It's the breath of the buffalo in the morning winter. And it's the little shadow dancing across the grass losing itself in the sunset. Okay. Distinguished Toastmaster, Toastmasters and guests, good evening! Good, good evening. evening! All right. What a beautiful quote, I think. Um, because it evokes so much imagery. You just see that. Um, and it's an American, uh, Native American Indian quote um, from a tribe called Crowfoot. Now, I'm not American. I'm Canadian. But I wasn't born in Canada. I was born in Dubai. Yeah. So, I was the eighth Brit born in Dubai. British national born in Dubai. That's my claim to fame. Before the UAE even existed. Although I'm sure it was a flicker in Sheikh Zayed's mind at the time. <laughs> And as a teenager, when I was 16 years old, I actually dated number seven for a little while. Okay. <laughs> you know, hanky panky. <laughs> um, I've traveled quite a, quite a bit over the years, 50 plus countries, and it's been an education. I think Nigeria sticks in my mind the most. Uh, when I was 13 years old, that really sort of had a big impact on me. Um, I was educated in, in Dubai, uh, France, and in Canada, where I went to the University of Ottawa. Uh, which, as you know, is the capital of Canada, mm -hmm. Ottawa, not the mm -hmm. University of Canada. Mm -hmm. um, I also speak a couple of languages. Mm -hmm. Can you guess the first? English. English. <laughs> ah, very good. <laughs> English. English. <laughs> I speak English. And the second language, can you take a guess? French. Arabic. Arabic. French. Absolutely. Well done. Nor you're not listening. Canadian. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Um, 20 years ago, I went to Saudi Arabia, uh, joined a company called Savola, a big edible oils company, helped set up their market research department. Fantastic experience, it really was. Best friends, best memories, best experiences. And then 17 years ago, I came to Dubai. And by the way, when I was in Saudi, I also met my wife and got married there. So yeah, special times. In Dubai, 17 years ago, I came. Uh, and I joined a small market research company. Uh, and at the time, the industry was teeny tiny. $20 million across the entire Middle East and North Africa. Mm -hmm. And the company I joined was 40 strong, not well paid, me included, and my dad. Uh, and over the 17 years, built that up to a, a team of 500 across the Middle East and North Africa. So it was a fantastic rush. I mean, we had our highs, our lows, 35% growth, 2009, 2% profit. I mean, it was a fantastic journey, uh, and I really got a lot out of it. Um, now, interestingly, three months ago, uh, I left. Uh, I'm short, time for a new adventure. And so now, today, in front of you, I've got a big decision to make. Mm -hmm. Do I stay in Dubai? You have to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, or do, I, or do I go to Canada? Mm. You know? And I think, perhaps, you know, I might stay in Dubai, just for more. <laughs> um, Brings me on to my family, um, which is kind of an interesting situation there because uh, I live with my son, he's 12 years old, mm. uh, and it's just him and me. We support each other, mm. me financially, him morally. <laughs> and uh, kind of fantastic kid, um, Ryan, uh, growing too fast. Um, and his mother, my former wife, um, is an alcoholic mm. uh, in recovery. Mm. Uh, I spent eight years, um, hard years loving years, trying to help her. Mm -hmm. um, but when you go to rehab, uh, and you go into groups, and you talk about things, you learn about something, you learn the three C's. And the three C's for addiction, and there are four addictions, there's alcohol, mm -hmm. there's drugs, um, there's gambling, and then my favorite, sex. Um, you can't talk about that, but it is an addiction. <laughs> and um, you learn the three C's about addiction, because you kind of feel responsible and you end up living their, their horror as well, become codependent. And the three scenes are simple. I didn't cause it, I cannot control it, and I can't cure it. 
And so the lesson in life that I took from that was that really, you know, you and only you are in charge of you in the story. And that allowed me to continue to love my wife but it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's an important, uh, an important lesson. So I wouldn't wish that on anybody in, in the world. Honestly, it was a horrific um, uh, part of my life, um, and it took a big chunk out of my life. But what a silver lining in the cloud! Because I became so much more self-aware. I became a better friend. Mm -hmm. Became a better boss, a better manager, a better father, um, and I learned a lot about myself. And I started a whole new journey of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the reasons we're Toastmasters today. Mm -hmm. So where do I want to go you know, in life? I'm 48. I've kind of reached that much where I want to give back. I'm not too sure how yet. Um, but I think coaching is part of that. It's in me somehow. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm studying to become an executive coach and a CEO coach. And later on in life, which isn't too later on, 48, 60, um, I want to help disadvantage youth. Mm -hmm. Um, help them find a sense of purpose in their lives um, and sort of maybe benefit from the ups and downs that I've gone through that have made me a stronger person. So with that, I'd like to leave you with a quote, which is that the morning rests in you, just waiting, burst out into light. Thank you. Mm -hmm.